Hey guys, Casey Foster here from Netcode Guides. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the bombsite B on Dust 2. Um, this is something you can do in solo queue or with your teammates, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it by yourself. The basic strategy of this video is going to use a smoke and two flashes to help you take the bombsite. And I'm going to show you the sequence of how to throw them, where to throw them, when to throw them, and how to use the smokes and the flashes to your advantage to get yourself into the best situations possible, to have the best results possible. Um, the main goal of the smoke is, well, I'm going to show you where it's going to land. It's going to land right about here. It's going to block off all of this area right here, the right side of this uh, double stack, all the way to about right here. So the player would have to come all the way on the left edge of the smoke and or jump over the ledge. Uh, but anyway, the smoke is going to land here. What it's going to do, it's going to block off this whole site. It's going to get you into 1v1 situations if there's going to be two players here um, with the players either going to be in closet or a door or here in sight versus you fighting two people at the same time. Um, so just to cover a little basis, the standard play for a CT side on Dust2 is going to be a player coming and throwing a smoke or a flash or a grenade here to stop the flash when they're entering the site. And or a little bit later in the round, sometimes players will throw nades off the top of this wall, which will land in this area right here and do a bit of damage. So what you're going to do in the beginning of the round is come into this position. You're going to wait um, you know, a few seconds for these early flashes and nades. And um, when you feel the time is right, you're going to get into position to execute this strat. So what you're going to do is you're going to use a smoke. And two flashes, your smoke is going to uh, bounce off of this wall here. I like to aim it... Um, about as high as the B here is on the wall and just run and throw the flash at the same time wait for it to pop and then I'll throw a trailing flash I'll dodge it and then I'll throw a deep flash into sight while that's going off I'll check close like this I'll peek the door very quickly come out of peek like this and then clear in closet um, obviously this smoke landed a little close I'll show you exactly how to throw the smoke um, after this but you will not get blind at all coming through that area right there and it'll allow you to peek the car and the guy in closet um, uh, by v very efficiently with blocking off this area of the site so you won't be shot in the back while you're trying to 1v1 that guy. Let me show you that again here. So we're going to throw the smoke off of the wall. There we go. That's a good one. And uh, a trailing flash. You might have to dodge it and then throw a deep flash. And like I said, there, there's a big gap here. So like this, you won't, be, you won't have the, um, the, the blindness from the smoke. And the cool thing about this smoke is if there's a guy back here or a guy at window or whatever, you can go on either side of the smoke. The only thing that you need to keep mind of is that the smoke is going to dissipate. And you do not want to be crossing this area when there's no smoke. So you want, if you're going to run across this area like this, you're going to want the smoke to still be there and or you're going to save your second flash to flash over to get you to big box. More than likely, in any situation in the beginning of the round, there's going to be a player in B. Um, even late into the middle of the round when there's you're in a, like a 3v5 or 4v4 or 3v3, there's potentially still going to be somebody in B. Um, so the great thing about that is this play is you can use it any time in the round. You're just going to simply drop the smoke here. You're going to 1v1 the guy here. If there's a guy, it's just going to help you clear the site much more efficiently um, and get yourself into 1v1 situations versus potentially fighting two people, which you're more than likely going to lose. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you guys me doing the actual play in a matchmaking game. It's something I do very commonly, especially on Dust2, because there's very few plays to actually stop that. hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you guys will learn something. Thanks, bye. Alright guys, and here I am doing this exact play in a uh, global elite matchmaking game. Um, it's something I, re I do very commonly on T-Side, uh, so that's why I'm making a video about it. But Basically, they've been pre-smoking B every round, so I was just waiting for their smoke. I threw mine past their smoke, one flash into it, and then I'm basically using the smoke to cut off parts of the site to help me clear things. And then I kind of just waited the dude out. He came through window. I'm going to throw a nade at him. Still just using the smoke as a wall, basically, to block for myself from doors and from another player in the site. And then I basically just flash push the second guy and get the kill. So as you can see, I threw one smoke, two flashes, took the site relatively easily, and uh, was able to get two kills. Um, no crazy aim plays, it was just me utilizing the positioning of my smoke. Uh, hope you guys enjoy, and uh, look out for more of these videos. Thanks.